what's going on guys it's Greg here aka New York Prepper and I wanted to just show you a little uh, way of transporting ammunition um, during SHTF or if you're traveling um, you know if you're visiting family or you're traveling somewhere within the United States um, or for SHTF you know I want to show you just a, a great way to carry some ammunition on hand that you can rapidly move from one place to another and uh, at quickly access in case you actually have to use it and what you're looking at here is just a little duffel bag and inside of this duffel bag um, I carry some ammunition here and uh, you know this is a great way for like I said if you're traveling you know you can have all your ammunition in here okay so in here I have all I have a whole bunch of ammo in here. I have a I have some 44 Magnum. Uh, let's see, I have like a hundred rounds of 44 Magnum. I have 80 rounds of 300 Win Mag, and I probably have a hundred rounds of 12 gauge uh, buckshot in here. All right, I have this bandolier. This entire bandolier I could fit in there. 50 round bandolier. And uh, you know, a, a duffel bag is kind of something that a lot of guys overlook as as a way of you know for for tactical purposes you know for shtf or home defense you know having a, a little duffel bag like this can can really help you to move ammo from one place to another very quickly rather than having all of your ammo inside of metal ammo cans you know uh, metal ammo cans are are great but you know it's if you have to move from one place to another you know, having something like this duffel bag, it'll be much easier for you to carry all the ammo that you would potentially need. And and in here I have a mixture of shotgun, rifle, and pistol ammo. And this is basically all the ammo that I think I would need for, for pretty much any scenario for a limited engagement. You know, a small short-term firefight. You know, I have some buckshot, I got some pistol, I got some rifle ammo. Um... And again, you know, this is better than an ammo can because you can grab it. It has a, a shoulder strap here that I can sling over my shoulder. Um, you know, you have carrying handles, you know. So it's, you know, just a standard, standard duffel bag. So let me just uh, show you guys what I mean. All right, so this is where the duffel bag is better than an ammo can because you can you can you know you have handles you also have an adjustable shoulder strap here that you can strap over your shoulder you know it's just easy to grab and you can toss this in a vehicle um, you know if you have to let's say bug out of your house you know you can have this this duffel bag preloaded with ammo for all your weapons you know enough ammo for a decent amount of ammo for uh, you know a limited engagement um you know have a little bit of everything in there um and you know you can just grab this throw it in your car if you're going from one place to another you know this is an excellent way to transport you know the essentials that you need you could easily throw some uh magazines in there you can throw some israeli bandages some tourniquets uh, I mean optics flashlights flashlight batteries, you know, you could use this duffel bag for for pretty much anything um, Not just ammo, you know, you could have accessories in there. Like I said flashlights flashlight batteries a lantern uh, tourniquets uh, You know bandages and this is actually the 511 rapid duffel Sierra and uh, I got this on sale for $20 guys $20 um, I'm not saying you have to buy this particular duffel bag. I just wanted to show you, you know, that a duffel bag is a great way to transport your ammo uh, for SHTF. If you have to quickly move some ammo around or have it on hand, let's say, let's say I need to bug out and go to my vehicle. I have everything in here. I can throw this in my vehicle and I know that I have a decent amount of supplies in here. Uh, and it's not too massive, you know, this is a small duffel bag. This is only, you know, 20 inches, I think. Um, it's a 20 inch length here, so this is small. 
it doesn't look massive uh, you could even fit some pistols in there maybe a short barrel shotgun in here um, and uh, this particular one also has a uh, concealed carry pouch on the side there's a uh, velcro in here so you could put a pistol inside it's a good size pouch I actually was able to fit my 44 Magnum in here believe it or not got some molly webbing here with uh, you know velcro comes with this adjustable shoulder strap that's removable here with these nice heavy-duty plastic clips and it also has some molly on one side here so you could put you know whatever you could put a medical pouch on the side you could have a separate accessory pouch in here for smaller items that you don't want to get crushed inside with the ammo you know if you want to segregate your supplies you could put like a little utility pouch throw some batteries in there you know put a compass in there flashlights whatever um, but you know for twenty dollars this thing was a steal and uh, it's obviously Cordura I think it's 500 D Cordura or maybe it's uh, 500 D nylon I can't remember what they have it but it's got a grab handle on the other side here so if I want to grab it on this side and hold it this way I can do that as well but you know a duffel bag you know it's an old-school method of transporting ammo um, you know if you need to move ammo around from point A to point B uh, you know in a in a tactical situation you know even if you're going down the street let's say you rendezvous with your neighbor and your neighbor has uh, you know let's say you want to pull security at your neighbor's property and he's down the road because he thinks that there's some guys coming in bad guys you know you throw some ammo in there throw some supplies and then just go down the road you know and that's the rapid duffel Sierra here um, but this is just a great way to transport your ammo and same thing if you're traveling if you're on vacation you know you can keep ammo in your vehicle this way or in your hotel or whatever uh, worst case scenario you have some ammo and supplies if God forbid something ever happened while you're away you know whether it's SHTF or active shooter um, I highly recommend keeping some medical supplies in there as well you know like a, two Israeli bandages and one tourniquet would be my minimum suggestion um, you know and 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 then have your ammo in there and th that will help you to uh, react to situations you know when you're far away from home or you're away from home base and it's it's lightweight it's small you know it's it's just enough but it's not overdone and so like a mini duffel bag like this is very very good you know and especially for for shtf for tactical reasons you have to transport ammo it's a great way to do it so thank you guys for watching i'll be uploading a lot more videos take care god bless and don't forget the three P's, prepare, practice, and persevere.